Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. Quick update video since I haven't posted anything in a while. Um, I haven't been working on too much in the garage lately, mostly because I've been focused on the basement, but I figured I'd show you a few things that have popped up in the garage as of late. Um, I picked up this uh, used for a hundred bucks and it's a Fastenal or Durham manufacturing, I think is the OEM for them but compartment bin. So I have a whole bunch of these to fill up now and find a space for. So that was a cool little score. Um, if you can ever get your hands on these, they're all metal, nice roller bearings on the slides here and uh, great for storage of fasteners and things like that. I have a bunch of other ones that I've picked up used over the years that hide out behind the drill press here. I haven't ever found them with the drawers, but these are really handy and uh, they're filled with different fasteners and things like that. So keep an eye out for those used. Usually you can find them for around 20 or $30 each and they're really nice storage. So the X-Max, you might have seen, uh, I posted a short video of me cleaning bearings. Um, turns out it's more than just the wheels. You can see it's still kind of locked up here that doesn't move when I push it like it should. So all the center bearings are locked up as well. I have a whole bearing kit for this coming and I'll probably do a video on it, but I'm gonna have to tear the whole thing down and replace pretty much all the bearings on it. That's a, I guess what you get for running it through the mud. And even though I thoroughly cleaned it, um, sprayed it down, blew it out, WD 40 would everything. The muck and dirt still got in there. I found the bearings themselves weren't very well greased um, to begin with from the factory. So that probably played a bit of a role, like didn't have enough grease to keep the dirt and water from getting in them. Um, so that'll be a fun little rebuild as well. And final thing I'm kind of putting together right now, you might have seen, I did a video on a tool bag I have. I'll leave a link in the corner there but a bag full of kind of the hand tools and things like that, but it didn't have power tools. So I've got a bunch of the newer DeWalt uh, brushless 12 volt things that I'm gonna to put together in another bag with fasteners and chargers and other accessories so that I can grab kind of the two bags, one with hand tools and this one with a few power tools to do simple jobs around the house or for friends and family. Once I get this all put together, I'll do a video on everything that I actually include in this set. And just one other fun thing, cause the Porsche is actually in here. Um, this is how close I actually parked the wall. So you can see that's my hand and we're talking four or five inches all the way back along here. So I do pull us in like this. Um, that's the only way I can get both vehicles into the garage. If you see my garage tour video, there was a snapshot of both vehicles in here, but it is very, very tight here and scares me that someday I'm going to brush knock on wood. But, uh, as long as I can keep the mirror off the wall, a certain amount of distance, I can see the mirror from the driver's seat, obviously. And as long as I keep it far enough off the wall, I know that the fender is also far enough off the wall. Um, so yeah, just an interesting thing to show you while I'm in here today. As for the basement, what I've been working on probably the last month or so has been plumbing. So you can see some of it here and some of it here. Um, also some drains in the floor that I had to deal with. Don't mind the mess. And electrical is the other big thing, but I'll do a full basement update video here in the near future once I get the inspection signed off on. And while I'm down here, a couple of cool tools to talk about. Um, so Fluke T5 600. I've had this a little while, um, but really handy for just simple electrical work. The probes plug into the back so you can actually put one in here and lets you do this more one handed. So that's been really cool. Um, An East Wing, Est Wing, I don't know how to actually pronounce that, but a uh, linesman hammer. So this one's kind of neat. It's got a smooth face on one side and a milled like cross hatch face on the other. I've been using this for a lot of the wire staples and such, and it's been really nice. It's a little on the heavier side. I think it's a three pound head, but it's been kind of a neat hammer to have compared to my old uh, trusty club hammer that I've used for almost everything over the years. The other thing I've picked up just recently is a Klein Scout Pro 3. So this is a network cable tester, basically. Uh, it does cable TV too. But after I ran most of the cables, I just wanted to check them to make sure that my terminations were okay and that the cables weren't damaged or anything while I was pulling them. So picked up a relatively inexpensive tester to give that a try and did the job quite well. It's also kind of neat, has a distance measurement on it so you can see how long the cable pulls were um, just I think through capacitance or something like that that it uses. But that's been kind of a neat little tool too. So a few little add-ons to the uh, collection as I finish the basement here in addition to some of the other things you would have seen like the caulking gun or the PEX expander. All right, and just before we end today, I wanted to thank everybody who has been liking, subscribing, commenting on the videos. Um, I've seen a real pickup in the traffic to my videos over the last couple months, and it's been awesome. I really appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch my videos, and I try to respond to all the comments, um, some of the awesome questions that you guys come up with about the different things I'm doing in the garage. So just wanted to say I really appreciate that. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments below. And otherwise, thanks for watching.